tonight. Charity. I'm not short. <laughs> short. <laughs> I am not short. I'm taller than my wife. <laughs> By how much? That doesn't matter. <laughs> what do you think about having a husband who's a comedian? I think he's the smartest and he's wonderful at the same time. Let's kiss her. This is the only way to clean your grill. Look at that. Okay, just got gas and everyone knows my favorite part of getting gas. Watching that needle go way up. <laughs> it's so much fun. God, it feels like in New York City is so much traffic. The fire truck just showed up over there. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. They must have had a fire or something. They got cop cars over there. Locking it off. We're at the laundromat. Because uh, again, dryer's still broke. So, drying our stuff. There's everybody. What? The bottom one shut off. Yeah, I figured it would. Oh, there's another fire truck down there. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do some stand up comedy soon, okay? Yeah! Oh, come, on. come on, we can do better than that. Come on. Yeah! Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I have my wife's tape me, okay? <laughs> um, I just got married Saturday. Y'all make it sound like that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, it is. I love it. A lot of, a lot of mishaps happened in our wedding. Uh, one of the major things is somebody lost our wedding rings right before the ceremony. Which was, wouldn't have been so bad if it wouldn't have been told to me as I'm standing up there ready to say my I do's. I was on stage and, no lie, my mom is sitting right in the front row and she leans up to me and she goes, I forgot the rings. And me, I'm on stage going, the rings, go get the ring. And my mom, and I'm trying to keep composure. My mom's like sitting there going, what to do? I don't know. I, I just forgot. So then we see my grandma slide across the church pew. I'm just slide across to the end to try and get out to go find them during the ceremony. And it turns out somebody had moved them. They were in a plastic tub, and the ladies there tried to tell my mom, you can't put them there because they will get misplaced or lost. My mom is hard-headed. And she goes, oh, I know where they are. I'll remember. Well, somebody had moved them. So we couldn't, nobody could find them. So we're up there, and next thing you know, I hear, I hear my uncles come up, and they say, we got the rings. We got the rings. And I'm thinking, oh, goody, we got some rings. We got the rings. Turns out their definition of ring is different from mine because I saw key rings in the pastor's hand as he was handing them to us. Which would, wouldn't have been so bad if the one wouldn't have been so big that it was obviously not a ring. I mean, this thing was like five times bigger than this ring on my finger. And uh, so I, I just, I was like, oh. Okay, so then we finally get the rings after the reception. My mom's like, here, I finally got them. And as we're going to put them on, my mom takes the tag off one, which apparently forgot to do. And she breaks my my wife's wedding ring. And so she's like, it's all dented and banged up. So she's like, just put it on. So then she had to put her engagement ring on to cover it up so that it wouldn't look so bad. Wedding wife. And uh, I, I told my wife, I said, I want to get a souvenir before we leave. So I'm trying to play down the money because the casino gave us free $10 for our wedding. And so I'm trying to play this down. And I finally got down to my last two cents and I won like six bucks. So I'm thinking, yes, no, I gotta go. Okay, so I'm like, I'm just thinking, ah, oh, crap, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lose this money. So I play it down and I get to like five cents and I win like five bucks, which just sucks. And it, it kind of cool, but it sucks in a way because I'm like, I gotta go. I'm like, I, wife's up there waiting for me. So, and my mom was driving us, so, because I didn't want to take my car. I thought about getting drunk, so not a good idea to drink and drive. 
So I finally, I finally just had to take my winnings, and then I took a dollar and I put it in, and I got it down to about ten cents, and I thought, all right, I'm just gonna play it till two cents, and then I'm gonna take my little money and I'm gonna take my souvenir, and I won again. And my my wife come up and I said, I'm sorry, baby, your husband's just a winner today. And uh, I said, I'm trying to be a loser, but I can't help it. I just keep winning. So. <laughs> So she's like, all right, well, I'll leave, and maybe you'll have some more bad luck here. And so I put in another dollar after I won, and I finally got my two-cent voucher as my souvenir. After about 15 minutes of trying to lose, I kept winning. I finally lost. And uh, so that, that was nice to walk out of there with that. Well, then, as we were walking out, we saw the little gift shop. So... We went in there and we're looking, and uh, we actually found her a ring, the ring she's wearing now, and uh, it was only $11. Shh, tell her. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now she's gonna know. Great. Who's the blabbermouth that just told her? <laughs> Sorry, babe. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, that was a few of the mishaps that we had, and uh, so just, just the funny stuff with weddings. And my past, the pastor came up and he said, you know, it wouldn't be a real wedding if there wasn't at least one foul thing, just one screw up. That's all you need to make it a complete wedding. But uh, that's one, the, the joys of being married are awesome. I love being married. The only bad thing is, I think her hearing has increased really, really good. Like tenfold. Because I was in the living room, she's in the bedroom watching TV. And I'm out in the living room with my buddy thinking, you know, we could go to the strip club. Not, not two minutes later, I, I, stand, I stand up and I turn around. My wife is standing right there going, you're not going to the strip club. <laughs> and, I, and I looked at her and I said, how the hell did you hear me? She goes, I hear everything. <laughs> so I hear things too, but what I hear is not what she says. Thank you. Have a good night. She goes, if you want something later, you will get up there. Well, yeah, she was pressuring me to come back up here, and I was like, eh, yes, dear. Because that's about what it is when you get married. That's all it is. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. So what you going to sing? I can't sing. I can't sing. I don't sing. No, I don't sing very well. You, you, if I started singing, you you could think this place is on fire because there'd just be everybody just be running out here. Ah! Next thing you know, fire department's gonna show up. That guy was singing. Ah! Get out of here. We can't stand it. They come in, they start. Next thing you know, I'm right here, beer bottles smashing up there. I'm like boo. No, I better not sing. I, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I've been trying to get my wife up here to do karaoke, but she doesn't want to come up here. I think she's a little shy. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> Sweet! But uh, anyways, I'm going to take a break here, because I've done enough stand-up comedy. Thank you, I've been Dan Hall. What did you think of your husband on stage? You were pretty funny.